Okay, in this lesson we're going to learn how to put a fillet on a sketch. So, again, we'll start out with a new part. If you have any questions on some of the things I'm doing, check out my previous videos and that'll uh, explain more. So here we're just going to do a basic sketch, similar to what I've done in the past. But this time around, I'm going to put some fillets. Oops, skip that. So to, so to delete this dimension, you just highlight it, hit the delete key. And then we can start over. We're still in dimension mode. Just going to add some dimensions here quick. Again, see my previous videos if you're not following along what I'm doing. Okay, now all the lines are black, which means it's fully defined or constrained. Um, so now we have the same sketch as we had in the previous video. I'm going to hit OK here. Now, what I want to do is add a fillet, which is this sketch fillet right here. I click on that, and it pulls up this dialog box, sketch fillet, and it's asking us what entities what entities are these lines each line or anything is an entity a circle anything in a 2d sketch a line is uh, a, an entity so I'm gonna pick up this corner and this corner and see how it kind of made a radius there now if I want to make multiple radiuses that are all the same I just keep clicking like this one and that one so I'll, I'll make these two radiuses the same and they'll be as I change the radius, they'll change both of them. So down here in the parameter box, I'm going to make that 0.5. See how it changed both radiuses to that 0.5? So if I hit, hit OK, now I have a radius on my sketch. All right, so on the inside, I'm going to do another one. So we'll do another fillet. I'll click on this and this one this one and this one. Uh, this one I only want 0.25 and all I have to do is say OK and it made those radiuses different. Now let's say I just want to break all of these corner edges down here. This one, this one, this one, this one. But I only want them to be like ten thousandths. I just want to break the edge. So it looks like I if I select this one and this one, you can scroll in and see that 10 thousandths radius. Looks like I can hit just that vector also, and it'll, uh, instead of picking up the two lines, I just got to hit, hit that vector, click on it, and it automatically puts a 10 thousandths radius in. So now I did all my corners there, so they all have the radiuses. So now I got a nice radius on all my corners. Hit OK, hit Rebuild. Now my sketch has radiuses. I'm going to go ahead and just do an extrusion. So we'll do Features, Extrude. I want to do this sketch. I want to do it for 10 inches. And now I have all the edges are radiused. And that's how you do a fillet in a sketch. Now let's say I didn't want to do it in a sketch. I can do it in the solid model also. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'm going to sketch on the front plane. I'm going to use... I'm just going to use a line again. Uh, 
as that yellow line comes up, that shows it's going to be vertical. See that dotted line that comes across there? That's saying that the endpoint's going to match up with this endpoint. See how that works? So I'm going to click there, here, here. I'm going to add dimensions to it. I'm going to go ahead and do the same dimensions. So it's the same basic structure, but this time I'm going to extrude that out, same 10 inches. Now I got two bodies. Even though this is one part, I still have two bodies in that same part. But now, instead of doing the sketch fillet, I can do a fillet on a solid. And it's right here, this drop down button, fillet or chamfer. So I could do the chamfer or fillet, whichever. I'm going to do a fillet. And then all I have to do is click this edge here and this edge here. And my last one was 0.5. Symmetrical means that they're going to be the same. 0.5. Okay. And these are just your basic fillets. There's other parameters you can use. Um, and different ways of doing things. But right now we're just focused on the simple fillet. So there it made our, our fillet on a solid, not on the sketch. So then we're going to do another fillet. And we're going to do the inside, that one, and that edge. And we're going to do those at 0.25. Say OK. And now we got to fill it on the inside. And for the last one, we're going to do a fillet on this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And they were they were twenty ten thousand excuse me ten thousandths each. So basically, we built the same part, same extrusion, except for one we used the the sketch fillet, and the other one we used the solid fillet, which would be in the features tab, not the sketch tab. And we can do the same thing for cham chamfers, which I will make another video showing that. But as you can see, this is our feature tree here of the part. Front plane, we have a boss. If you look in here, the sketch, is that sketch there. We have another boss with that sketch there. And then we have three fillets. Another thing we can do is, if you see that hand on that line, I can push the left mouse button down and drag that up and it'll kill everything up to that point. So then I can work on this. And remember, I, these are all in order. Sometimes you'll want to move your sort around, take like fillet three, and move it up right underneath here. And it changes the order. But again, things are built off of one another. So I really can't take a fillet and go, see how it's got an X through the circle? I can't bring it above where the feature is actually built, which was built on the boss too. And we can rename these also. Go under properties, body properties. I can name that whatever I want, Jason. Now in the feature tree,
And that's it for learning two different ways to put fillets on a solid body.